Hello, everyone, and welcome. Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a few rainbow projects coming at you featuring the Rainbow Whimsy Die by My Favorite Things, which is a promotional for May. If you spend 60 bucks, you get the die for free. You know what they say, if it's free, it's for me. I'm also going to use some of this wood grain whimsy pattern paper. I chose this soft yellow wood grain, which is great for a background. And I trimmed it out to be a little bit smaller than a white card base. I love a nice white border around the edge. And then we'll move on to the Rainbow Whimsy. So I love a good rainbow. And this one has five arches. So I chose five shades of solid color cardstock. And here's how I choose my shades. What I do is, this is the professional scientific approach. I sit down on the floor, like right on the hardwood floor, and I scatter out all my solid color cardstocks, and I fiddle and I futz and I putz. It doesn't always come easy, but I, I persevere until I find the right color combination for that day. And it's always changing. Some days I want more reds in my rainbow. Some days I just want a cool tone rainbow with greens and blues and aquas. The way I just said aqua makes me sound like I'm from Boston. You know, like park the car and have a yard and use some aqua cardstock. Is that about right? That's probably not even close. But okay, so I traced out a rainbow left over from one of the negative die cuts. I'm covering it with tape runner. And that way I can slap on my arches. It'll hold the rainbow together. And then you can just move the rainbow around wherever you want to put it, or you can pop it up. I love dimension on a nice little rainbow. So today I was feeling kind of this, oh, I don't even know what you want to call this, but these card stocks, uh, most of them are by the stamp market. I'm obsessed with their color crush colors. But that fuchsia, the smallest arch, I believe that's dull pink by Simon's Stamp. So it's always a mixture of brands, right? Now I'm gonna start assembling this card here. I pop up the soft yellow wood grain background and then I pop up the rainbow. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of leftover arches over on the side. And so I did a mixture of different combinations, variations using all those leftover arches. And I put together four extra little rainbows and they're just gonna sit there. I might make a couple more cards. I might pop it on a tag, pop it on an envelope. I don't know, but I'm moving on to the sentiment. I wanted to keep it very, very simple. So I'm using this big smile word die, also by My Favorite Things. I'm just die cutting it out of white cardstock. I'm using the lines on my grid mat to line up this smile and get it straight and evenly spaced. Once I get it how I like it, I hold it down with some of that purple tape, flip it over, pop on some slivers of foam tape. That way I can pop it up along with the rainbow. Now don't forget, the smile has a tittle, which I was actually surprised the other day. I found out my kids did not know what a tittle was. Well, they do now, but uh, just goes to show they don't watch my videos because I think I talk about it every other one. This is funny. Charlie said to me the other day, he's like, mom, you know what? I actually did subscribe to your YouTube channel, but then I kept seeing your videos popping up in my thing and I don't really want that. I want just hockey videos. So then I unsubscribed. I was like, well, thank you for your honesty, Charlie. <laughs> anyway, Mother's Day, he did redeem himself because... He got mom some McDonald's french fries. And then Bailey, she made a triple layer brownie mousse cake. And it was divine, okay? It was absolutely delicious. And what the best part was is there was some leftover. So for the next two nights, I could have myself a little sliver of triple mousse cake. Now this third card, I didn't show how I made it, but I'll show you how I was inspired. I saw this quote on Instagram. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, Love that color combination. So I did one, went back to the Rainbow Whimsy, did similar colors on a blue background. I embossed a sentiment from the Smile Maker stamp set. And there you have three Rainbowlicious projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.